I had a look again through the programme for government and actually I was struck there's quite a few commitments in the programme for government to quote improve animal welfare standards. There's even a line there which talks about prioritising equine welfare based on a robust traceability system which would certainly raise eyebrows after last week's RT investigates. But in any case I want to focus here on the issue of Dublin Zoo which I have raised previously and which I think there's evidence to suggest continues to fall below appropriate animal welfare standards. There have been protected disclosures, there have been allegations raised in the Dáil, in the Shannad, there's been an, an investigation by the NPWS. Uh, but I understand that last week a zebra in the zoo was shot dead with a gun. It was euthanised uh, with a gun as opposed to with uh, an injection, which would be the, the appropriate normal thing that happens in uh, zoos around uh, the world. Um, it was not done by a vet, which again, a vet is the only person licensed to do it. It isn't a circumstance where the zebra was running wild and endangering people or something uh, like that. I think there's a serious question there. I think there are other serious questions in terms of the zoo. There's a question which has never been looked at in terms of the involvement of MSS services at Dublin Zoo, who are also involved in the notorious uh, Ashton Pound, where there was all sorts of abuse of dogs and so on. So I would ask, I think a new independent investigation is needed into what's happening in Dublin Zoo. Well, thanks, uh, thanks very much, uh, Deputy Murphy. I'm not aware, not aware of that situation, but it's a very, it's a very serious situation to raise. So let, let me let me ask um, let me ask uh, for a report uh, from the relevant uh, department uh, in, in, in relation to that. I know that Dublin Zoo is uh, is independently run, but indeed it receives uh, it receives funding from the state. So let me let me check, and I take animal welfare um, extraordinarily seriously, and I was utterly horrified by the revelations in, in, in prime time uh, last week and want to receive a, a full comprehensive report uh, on the actions that will now be taken uh, both at an Irish level and an EU level um, in relation to those situations. 